Hello everyone, this is Wasim from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about AI in space science. So let us take a look at the agenda for this session. First of all, I will give you a brief introduction about artificial intelligence and then I will discuss how AI is already helping the space science. And moving further, I will discuss a few future possibilities and finally to sum up this session, I will explain how you can begin your AI journey with Edureka. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's Artificial Intelligence Certification Program. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without any further ado, let us understand the contribution of AI in space sciences. But before that, let's get a quick overview of what AI actually is. So, do you think the concept of existence of artificial intelligence is actually new? Well, when there was no internet in the past, people were researching on artificial intelligence by reading books or checking out articles in the newspaper. What exactly is artificial intelligence? Well, this is the key term sure did start a lot of curiosity back in the day. People wanted to know if they could actually teach the computers to learn like how a young child does. The concept here was to basically use trial and error to develop formal reasoning. And the term artificial intelligence was actually coined way back in 1956 by John McCarthy, a professor at Dartmouth. For years, it was thought that computers would never match the power of the human brain. But this has proven to be not the case. Well, back then, we did not have enough data and computation power as well. But now with the big data coming into existence and with the advent of GPUs, artificial intelligence is quite possible. And did you actually know that 90% of the world's data has been generated in the past two years alone and computers can make sense of all this information more quickly than humans. So very soon we can see artificial intelligence being a little less artificial and a lot more intelligent. And artificial intelligence in my opinion is the simulation of human intelligence done by machines programmed by us and the machines need to learn how to reason and do self correction as needed along the way. Now that we have detailed algorithms which artificial intelligence systems can make use of, they can perform huge tasks faster and more efficiently. So machine learning and deep learning are just two ways to achieve artificial intelligence. And as far as the space science goes, space science is nothing but, you know, it encompasses all of the scientific discipline that involves space exploration and study natural phenomena and physical bodies occurring in outer space, such as space medicine and astrobiology. And now that we know that basics of AI and space science, let us understand how AI has actually shaped the space science so far. The extraordinary feat the humankind has achieved with their journey into the space is just a start to an infinite reality and artificial intelligence is the key to finding out the answers to the unknown. So first of all, let me just talk about space exploration. So I'm going to talk about a few feats that uh, humankind has actually achieved with AI and uh, space exploration has been the ultimate guiding force that drives the innovation into technological advances to explore the unknown in the outer space. And the newly discovered Kepler 90i that orbits a star is one of the feats achieved by artificial intelligence. The planet was actually discovered through the NASA's Kepler Space Telescope by using machine learning. And according to a news article from NASA, Kepler's four-year dataset consists 35,000 possible planetary signals and automated tests and sometimes human eyes are used to verify the most promising signals in the data. However, the weakest signal often are missed using these methods. So Shalu and Vandenberg thought there could be more interesting exoplanet discoveries faintly lurking in the data. So first what they did was they trained the neural network to identify transiting exoplanets using a set of 15,000 previously vetted signals from the Kepler exoplanet catalog. And in the test set, the neural network correctly identified true planets and false positives 96% of the time. Then with the neural network having learned to detect the pattern of transiting exoplanet, the researchers directed their model to search for weaker signals. And in 670 star system that already had multiple known planets, their assumption was that multiple planet systems would be the best places to look for more exoplanets. So basically there was a lot of data and they were able to put machine learning algorithms and neural network to get the results that they may not have been possible a few decades ago. The space agencies all across the globe have realized the importance and relevance of artificial intelligence in space exploration. And we are seeing the results with each passing day. Talking about the global navigation or the GNSS. So basically a satellite navigation or satnav system is a system that uses satellites to provide autonomous geospatial positioning. 
It allows small electronic receivers to determine their location to a high precision using time signals transmitted along a line of sight by radio from satellites. Now to understand how AI can help in uh, global navigation, the data collected by the global navigation satellite system can be used to detect in real time events like tsunami and other disastrous situations by processing the data collected by the GNSS using the artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. And it can study the parameters like temperature, gases and other signals that can define an immediate danger. Although these factors may not look significant enough from the ground, but years and years of data from the space can actually detect even the smallest of changes and using the data and other parameters and a few machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms the experts can figure out events that may have been finding like a needle in a haystack and with the GNSS it is possible to study a lot of data and using the artificial intelligence it is possible to help us in a lot of ways to study the atmosphere or in case of large fires, let's say or forest fire, it can also figure out the best possible plan of action as well. Now talking about the communication part, the NASA spacecraft typically rely on human controlled radio systems to communicate with the Earth. And as collection of space data increases, NASA looks to cognitive radio, the infusion of artificial intelligence into space communications network to meet the demand and increase efficiency. So software defined radios like cognitive radio, use artificial intelligence to imply underutilized portions of the electromagnetic spectrum without the human intervention and these white spaces are currently unused but already licensed segments of the spectrum. So the FCC permits a cognitive radio to use the frequency while unused by its primary user until the user becomes active again. So in the future a NASA cognitive radio could even learn to shut itself down temporarily to mitigate the radiation damage during severe space weather events an adaptive radio software could circumvent the harmful effect of space weather increasing science and exploration data returns and a cognitive radio network could also suggest alternate data paths to the ground and these processes could prioritize the root data through multiple paths simultaneously to avoid interference and the cognitive radio's artificial intelligence could also allocate ground station downlinks just hours in advance as opposed to weeks and leading to more efficient scheduling. So these are a few feats in the space science led by artificial intelligence among many. So let's take a look at the future how it actually looks with artificial intelligence for space science. So the scientists are actually trying to figure out if the artificial intelligence can be used to identify or find asteroids or even discover life on nearby planets and the team which included students from France South Africa and United States plus mentors from academia and from technology company Nvidia developed an algorithm that could render an asteroid in as little as four days. So today the technique is used by astronomers at the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico to do nearly real time shape modeling of asteroids along with exoplanetary atmosphere analysis are a couple of FTL examples that show the promise in applying sophisticated algorithms to the volumes of data collected by NASA's more than 100 missions. As NASA heliophysicist notes, the space agency gathers about 2 gigabytes of data every 15 seconds from its fleet of spacecraft. But we analyze only a fraction of that data and we have a limited people, time and resources. So that is why they actually are looking to utilize these tools more. So on this mission, there was a spacecraft that studies the sun's influence on Earth and near Earth space. So back in 2014, just four years after the mission launched, there was a sensor which actually stopped returning data related to extreme ultraviolet radiation levels and information that is actually correlating with the ballooning of the Earth's outer atmosphere and this affects the longevity of satellites including the International Space Station. So computer science doctoral students from Stanford and University of Amsterdam, among others, with mentors from organizations which included IBM, Lockheed Martin and SETI, developed a technique that could essentially fill in the missing data from the broken sensor. So their computer program could do this by analyzing the data from other SDO instruments along with old data collected by the broken sensor during the four years that it was actually working. So to infer that the EUV radiation levels that sensors would have detected based on what the other SDO instruments were observing at any given time. So they generated basically a virtual sensor using AI. 
and there was a recent development where a 29 year old computer scientist has uh, earned worldwide fame for helping develop the algorithm that created the first ever image of a black hole so these are a few feats and this is how we actually are shaping our future into the space science using ai so what was not actually possible a few years ago now it is actually very much within our reach because we have gathered the tools that could actually process the years and years of data that we have collected through all these missions that have been sent out in space like we have sent a spacecraft to mars and we have a lot of data and we could actually uh, make or build some tools and uh, some resources that could actually process all that data and we could actually bring in a lot of information that was not possible a decades ago and one more thing that we are going to see in the future is that there will be a lot of role of robots basically you know the ai robots in a uh, space science when we are talking about space exploration it is quite obvious that the humans are not basically meant to spend a lot of time in space because of obvious reasons like for the very least there is gravitation and there are a lot of factors that makes it very difficult for any human being to remain in space for a long time if you be in space for a long time it will take toll on your health you will lose a lot of muscle mass and there are a lot of things that you have to consider but if we replace a few tasks that a human is present for in the space missions if we replace them with robots that can actually do all the tasks that they are actually doing and we can monitor the whole program the space program from down earth using a simple software program not actually a simple program it will be a very sophisticated program an ai program that can remotely access all the tasks that are happening inside the space and we still get the data that we actually need so that is one thing that we are looking at we actually achieved a lot of uh, feats regarding this also like there was a mass mission where we sent rovers and a relentless work and dedication with a hint of technology is going to take the space sciences a very long way and it is quite safe to say that a uh, spacewalk wouldn't be a spectacle after 50 years of time even though it is well within out of our reach right now and we might be able to do it for an evening stroll if everything goes as planned maybe a 50 60 years later and now comes the important part guys as much as we want to travel to some other planets in the times of crisis but we actually have to stay here and save our planet first so there is one more thing we can do in these testing times that is to learn our way into the future and since we all know that artificial intelligence is the future why not learn ai now we can master it with the very best and i'll tell you how edureka can actually help you in learning artificial intelligence edureka can help you start your journey in the artificial intelligence world so we have a post graduate program in artificial intelligence and machine learning so it's basically it will help you to become an expert in ai and machine learning so you'll be working on industry based projects you'll be able to make conversational chatbot you'll be working on deep learning there'll be uh, you know speech recognitions predictive models etc and you'll be in the guidance of very skilled professionals who have been in this field for a very long time and if you have mastered all the skills that you need in ai and machine learning there are a lot of fields that you can actually put this uh, skill into and get a really good job and kick start your career in the artificial intelligence domain So this is how Edureka can actually help you in learning artificial intelligence. And now that we have come to the end of the session guys, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka and do enroll to artificial intelligence certifications program. The link is given in the description box below. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.